my godmother, uh, Aunt Peggy, is has always been one of my role models. I always go to her for career advice, and one thing that she has forever instilled in me, she's like, a man would never go to HR, go to his boss, and be fearful about asking for a raise. He'd go and say, I want to make $95,000, and they'd probably give it to him. Whereas for me, that frightens me, <laughs> go into a room and be like, oh, well, maybe could you think about giving me between X, Y, and Z? She's like, no, a man would never do that. They just walk in and ask for what they want. When someone once said to me, you should advocate for yourself as if you're advocating for your best friend. So if you had to go in a room and ask for a raise and a promotion for your best friend, what would you say? Like, why are we and so would you nicer speak about to them? Them? Would you speak the same themselves. way about yourself? Right? Yeah. I had a choir it's teacher in college who was just a strong, independent woman, and she always said to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be late is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like <laughs> took that with me <laughs> through my career, and it's it's been great, but I also kind of started applying it to my personal life. Like, if I need to leave because I need to be somewhere to do something for myself, I'm gonna leave on time, I'm not gonna be late, I'm not gonna make sacrifices. The college professor caught me trying to apply for internships <laughs> while using class time. <laughs> and she came over and talked to me and she was like, oh, so where are you looking? What do you wanna do? And I was sitting there, I'm like, well, you know, I'm looking at theaters here in Phoenix or, you know, something back in Chicago. And she goes, well, do you wanna end up in Chicago or in Phoenix? And I was like, well, no, I wanna go to New York. And she was like, then why the hell aren't you applying there? <laughs> it was the idea of like, do you wanna see yourself somewhere? You have to take those steps to put yourself yeah. on that path. One really great piece of advice that I'll share from one of my own supervisors. I was like really upset with myself about something. And I was like, everybody's probably thinking this about me and everyone's thinking this and uh, like, I just feel awful, I feel so bad. And she just sat me down and she said, no one is thinking about you. <laughs> and I said, what? <laughs> I was like, that's so mean. <laughs> what are you saying to me? She said, no, no one is thinking about you. They're thinking about themselves. And you need to be thinking about yourself. Mm -hmm. And that was like huge for me to be able to realize that I need to stop worrying about what everyone else is thinking and what they're thinking about me and start really thinking about myself and what what I want, what my goals are, and like that was huge for me to hear from from someone that like nobody's thinking about me. I can, I can relax, you know.